Oh my, I thought I was gonna shatter that bottle right there. All right, buckle in for me having a hard time to uh, pronounce a lot of words going on here. This is from Hologi Hot Sauce. Uh, they are currently on Hot Ones. I'm trying to remember the name of their sauce that's on uh, this current season of Hot Ones, but um, they are quickly becoming one of my um, one of my favorite hot sauce companies. And they have just crazy backstories. It's like Nordish, Nord, Nordish, Viking, Viking, some sort. There's a lot of backstory that happens with them, and I'm I, I, I enjoy it. Um, Okay, anyways, regardless. So, the story, uh, it's N Norse. Okay, we're there. For Norse warriors, the welcome wagon. I, I like it when hot sauce companies have this like uh, sensationalism, some over the topness that happens with their things. Like, I, I enjoy that. Okay. For Norse warriors, the welcome wagon to the afterlife may be an old man in a hat, a nightmarish serpent, or an intimidating yet stunningly beautiful goddess in a chariot drawn by cats. Yes, cats. Two of them. Uh, Freya's chariot demonstrated her magnificent, magnificent strength and bountiful grace unapologetically. Uh, no matter where Freya traveled, this sauce does the same. Sweet and tart cherries envelop tangy lime with a slight sizzle of cayenne and scotch bonnets. I love scotch bonnets. For flavor. And heat that works on everything from salad to smoked cream cheese. See you in the Folkvanger. Alright, we're talking dessert sauce. We're talking sweet. We're talking... A oddly specific thing to use hot sauce on. And that's okay, because I believe that hot sauce can be used on anything. The sauce is appropriate. This is a really weird bottle to open. Oh my, I thought I was going to shatter that bottle right there. Um, all right, let me get my knife out and just clean up this, because that frustrates me when I don't have, like, a uh, clean bottle. Um, I love cherries. Tart cherries, real fruit happening. Um... Okay, so ingredients. Washington sweet cherries. Sounds so good. Agave nectar. More sweet. Jesus. Uh, white vinegar. Lime juice. Apple juice. Grenadine. Wow. Grenadine. I feel like you should be listing the ingredients in grenadine separately as well. Um, scotch bonnet peppers. Cayenne peppers. Salt and xanthan gum. Uh, it contains no common allergens. Uh, they're from South Dakota. Look at that. Isn't that a pretty label? Look at that. Uh, I can tell you right now this is going to work awesome on... I, I always want to go breakfast foods with something like this. So, a lot of things that I use, uh, stuff I like hot, like dessert sauces, I use it on overnight oats. Might kind of sound weird, but imagine this. So my overnight oats is going to be oats. And then I, ooh, look at that, you hear that pop? Good seal on it. Uh, oats, I do, and then I do uh, coconut, and I do a little bit of salt, and I do cacao nibs, and I do chia seeds. And I do blueberry, frozen wild blueberries because they're small and then they like, they get all like juicy and they swell a little bit overnight. And oat milk, you imagine you put some of this in there. Uh, sometimes I put maple syrup in there, like a spicy maple syrup. Uh, the spicy shark makes a really good maple syrup. And I'll tell you right now, this could work really well in overnight oats. I know, oddly specific. Uh, it's a thinner, almost jammy kind of sauce. It's got this jammy glisten to it. Uh, but it's a thinner sauce, I'm assuming from the vinegar. Because the the uh, third ingredient is white vinegar. I actually kind of thought this was going to be a little bit more like thick and jammy with the first ingredient being cherries and then agave uh, nectar. But that's like sugar. Does it have that listed? Total sugars are zero and one gram of added sugar. So not that much sugar. Um, 15 milligrams of sodium, so very light on the sodium. Okay, cheers. Let's we'll see what happens. Mmm! Um, extraordinarily mild. That lime juice tang is, like, amazing. Uh, the cherries are, like, super bright up front. This is an extreme, this is like a perfectly balanced sauce. It tastes like the liquefied version of the inside of a cherry pie, if that makes any sense. It's like, that, like, experience, but less sugary and uh, more hot saucy, more saucy, more soupy, in like a pleasant way because it's a hot sauce. So, like, I like pie, but, you know, like, something like cherry pie is going to be no it's gonna be way too sweet for me, honestly. So, like, this is not as sweet of a sauce as I thought it was going to be. It's more like, it's more tangy. It's like, it's what I want from hyper-sweet things 
but like without the sugar. So it's like the flavor without the ins insane amount of sugar, uh, which is what I like. Um, I'm getting heat, but I don't, I, but neither of the pepper is like really just like, um, like standing out to me. Like I'm not necessarily getting cayenne. Like cayenne, I don't even, honestly, I don't even know what the burn like, from cayenne kind of like experiences wise, because it's, it's a, it's a mild pepper, and when you put it in sauce, it's an even more mild pepper, so it's like a very generalized, just like, experience to it. Scotch bonnets are, are related to the habanero, so you're gonna get like a tongue, a tongue burn, um, like a stingy one, but I'm not getting that at all. If anywhere, it's like back of the throat, kind of. Um, let me try to see if I can focus on if there is any heat at all, because I'm trying to give this, I'm trying to give it a one. So when you swallow, you do get a big a bit of a heat. So I'm going to call it a one on my heat scale because one is the presence of of heat, and there is a presence of heat, but it goes away like almost immediately, like right now. That last hit is completely dissipated from my throat. I have nothing left. But this is a hyper delicious sauce. I love cherries, um, and the. The hit of lime juice in here is just like perfect, like the yin, the yang. Like I said, I'm gonna use this on like my overnight oat situation, but I would also go, I don't know why I always go breakfast with this kind of thing. Um, but you know, like, I mean, how good would this be with maple syrup? Because this is like, even though agave syrup is, or agave nectar is the number two ingredient, like with maple syrup on top of like, like French toast specifically, would be so good, so good. You could take really crusty toast and you could put down some like ricotta, Hear me out here, ricotta. And then uh, take this and put it on top of that. Oh my God, it'd be so good. Like you could do that, like even, that could be like a dinner situation, like an appetizer. Um, serve that little little cocktail party you're having, a little bite, be super good. Uh, but if you want to go dessert with it, I mean like, I don't know, I, I don't know. You could put this on a freaking ice cream sundae if you wanted. You know, like, I don't know. Treat this like you would treat syrup or chocolate syrup or maple syrup or honey or something like that. If you want that, that, and you like fruit, but you don't want all the sugar, that's where I'd go with this. Cool hot sauce. Oh, one of the better dessert hot sauces I've had. Um, I can add, I can go for a little more heat though. But you know, uh, other than that, I wish they just brought it just eh, for me, but um, still hyper delicious. Okay, halogi hot sauce. Delicious, delicious sauce. Always killing it. Anytime I have a chance to check out a halogi, I'm going to. So congrats to them for being on the season hot ones too. That's a big deal. Okay, uh, in the description below is gonna be a link to halogi if you wanna check them out, and you should, because they are making some very well-crafted sauces. Very, very impressive. Okay, hope you enjoyed. See you guys on the next. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there, and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going to, oh man, it's going to be great. Bye.